Welcome to Ontario's most popular winter destination, the biggest snow hill. But what do you do if you can't ski? There's still countless reasons it makes a perfect magical getaway. Welcome to Blue Mountains. So we just arrived at Blue Mountains and first we are going to check in at our hotel so we are staying here for the night and we'll be staying at Grand Georgian Village Suites and since it's our first time staying at Blue Mountain Village we wanted to get a hotel which is right in the village everything is walking distance from here and let's see how the room is Oh, do you want a room tour? Come on in so we booked a village studio room. This is our queen bed. Actually, the room is pretty spacious and we have a great window here, floor length mirror, which is always nice to have. And they have a small little kitchenette here, the closet to keep your stuff. And here we have the washroom, pretty decent and clean. So we paid 350 something, I'll just put the price here for one night. We were just lucky to get it this time, but it's always sold out. You should always book in advance. So after checking in our hotel, we just reached the Blue Mountain Village. And this is such a cute and charming place. There are lots of stores, restaurants, and the first thing that we are going to try is the famous poutine. Kanda's famous dish. First time trying poutine. Very tasty. That's very good. Guys, it's actually our first time in Blue Mountains and even our parents as well and they are loving it. The village is so colourful and cute. Very nicely made. There are cute little stores here as well, just like this one. This store looks so magical and it's the perfect place to do some Christmas shopping. Look at this ornament, so cute. Right now this village looks extra magical because of Christmas and they have like a holiday weekend schedule. So today is Friday, but tomorrow it's all lined up with the events from 10 a.m. till 9 p.m. Since we are staying here tonight, we are going to explore the village tomorrow as well. Also, this place is year-round, so you can come in summer and also during winter. And the winter highlight is obviously going on the slopes, enjoying the skiing. But in summer, I'm sure they have a good vibe as well because they have a lot of patios just around this small lake and it has great views as well. I'm really hungry and for lunch we are going to Firehawk Pizza. Look at this restaurant, it looks so cute. Every place is a photo opportunity. It's a fire themed restaurant. Welcome pizza lovers. This is the perfect place for me. <laughs> Perfect, thank you. You're welcome. Guys, we ordered Primor beer, which is a local beer from a town very close by to uh, Blue Mountains. It's really tasty. Special, enjoy. Oh, perfect. Let's try their pizzas. We also got arancini as well. How's it? It's all right. I was expecting it to be, but I would give six out of 10. Have you been coming here from long? I work here. Oh, oh you wow. work here? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's the best place to work, right? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> so I don't know how to do skiing. So what do you what do you recommend? Like how do we start? I would say like get comfortable in your ski boots first. And then obviously like find the perfect ski for you. And then like start skiing. And like it's so fun even without the winter. Like I live here like uh, year round. So it's just awesome. The Ridge Runner coaster, zip lining. There's a plunge, like a pool and stuff. I love it. Come here and yeah. <laughs> and, and make sure to subscribe. Oh yeah. yeah, subscribe to the channel if you want to explore more places in Ontario with us. Do it now. I really want to do this so bad. Wow. Look at this guys. This village actually looks so magical. Beautiful. This place looks so cozy. This is actually the Snow Dome Cocktail Garden. Let's get some drinks here. Oh, the shooting star. Holy night. Send me someone to love so I can hold their hand while we're asking. Thank you. Margarita and beer. 
Wow. Wow. This looks cozy. Cozy, cozy, cozy. Cheers. Cheers. A lot of times I've seen these snow yeah. domes which have a, like a minimum spend but this one is free. They have a seating limit of 30 minutes. If you get drinks from here, you can just sit here and chill. We're just chilling, spending some quality time with the family. And in the background, we have all the slopes and people are still skiing. I'm sure it's going to be more lively tomorrow with all the carols in the background and also Santa on a carriage. That's what I'm most excited about, to be honest. But I'm really amazed looking at this place. I wasn't expecting this, but the village is so, so cute. Guys, our hotel is at such a great location. We actually came back because we were feeling cold. Look at that. <laughs> He's getting all cozy up. The Canadian way. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. It's just right here. So definitely recommend if it's your first time at Blue Mountains, please stay here in the village because that's an experience in itself. Wow, people are skiing at night as well. And the best part is they have all the lights up there. I'm so tempted to do skiing, to learn skiing actually tomorrow. So cool. The slopes are here and the villages just right there. And we have the DJ here. Okay, I don't know where this bar is. It's not in the village and we're just walking. There's nobody around. I'm a sucker for finding like hidden gems everywhere I go. I'm taking my mom and dad all the way. I really hope it's worth it. We're actually going here. And we are at Jozo's bar for some drinks. All of the best days on the slopes or trails have either started or ended night here. Ooh, we didn't do the skiing, but we are ending a night here. Oh, lots of live music here. So this is a local hangout place. I just got to know that Jozo is actually the founder of Blue Mountains. Did he start this bar? I am not too sure, but yeah, that's where the name is from. Guys, it's such a lively place. This place was so much fun, but definitely if you're coming here, come at like around nine-ish. That's when it gets all lit. And we're back in the village. Where do we go? There's an Asian place where Guys, we can have dinner. Yeah, I'm so excited to have, to have dumplings. dumplings. Dumplings, dumplings. I'm in, baby. I'm in. Colorful chairs everywhere. Very beautiful. During the day, do something else. And during the night, you have it's all of this. We like we have. Wow, look at this. <laughs> wow. I've never been to a place that's decorated so nicely. I'm in love with this place. I think this is the best time to come to Blue Mountains as well when they have this holiday vibe here with the Christmas lights everywhere. I'm in complete awe. Guys, I'm not over exaggerating but this place looks so magical. And for dinner, we are feeling all Asian so we are going to go to this place called Mother Tongue. It's actually a cocktail bar as well. We're going to Mother Tongue with my your mother. mother. Let's go. Oh, your father also. Yeah, he shouldn't feel left out. Yeah. Why is it just Mother Tongue and not Father Tongue? Oh, the vibe is nice inside. Oh, it says we make almost all our food from scratch every day. High hopes from this place now. And I got my favorite old fashioned, but it's a different version. It's a banana infused old fashioned. Mmm. It's really strong, but I, I can smell the flavor of banana. It's nice. Here? Thank you. Awesome. Finally, dumplings. <laughs> this espresso martini was a dessert. The yep. coconut cold foam on the top was heavenly. You have to try this. Chicken fried rice, too good. 
and pad thai. This is even better. So what? Uh, so what? Uh, 10 on 10. And their version of spring rolls were to die for. It's actually called lumpia. Lumpia it is. Really good. Very tasty. Wow. The food, the drinks, everything was so good. I love the decor and everything. Like, look at these umbrellas on the top. It's so cool, right? That's excellent Lovely. drink. Yeah. Love it. We are done for the night and we are going to call it a night. We have to save up some energy for tomorrow. The best part, our hotel is right here. So we don't even have to go anywhere. Yeah, it's here. The entrance is here. In this room, they gave us a sofa bed. So let's set this up. I don't know why did they give sofa bed for four adults. Yeah, they should have given one more like queen bed. Yeah. And it's time to sleep. Good night, guys. Good night. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night. It's time to check out. Sadly, bye. Good morning. It's the next day and it's a very festive weekend here at Blue Mountains. But before exploring that, I wanted to come to my favorite breakfast spot here in Collingwood, which is Press Market. And they serve all organic stuff. It's healthy breakfast. That's what I want after all the crazy food last night. Let's go. I'm here for the acai bowl once again because it's so good. We ordered the egg sandwiches as well. I was just thinking egg sandwich would be boring, but this is really tasty. Guys, the food is so good. As always, the last time when we came, the menu was slightly different. So I think every season they change the menu. How would you rate this place? 10 on 10. 10 on 10. <laughs> How do you recommend this place? And we are at this cute little town called Thornbury. The main popular town is definitely Collingwood, but since I've already been there, I just thought to explore a new one today. We'll do whatever, do what we do, and it just gets better. Each and every town in Ontario has a unique character. A fun fact about Thornbury is it's the largest apple growing region here in Ontario. Look at this quaint town of Thornbury. It's beautiful. It's historic and you can actually explore in just an hour. And it's so quiet. It's actually yeah. a sleepy town. <laughs> exactly. But it's good to explore the new ones too. Yeah, why not? Keeps getting better with you. The cute little coffee shops here. And there's another very popular coffee shop which is Good Grief. Yeah, I'm gonna get a cap for myself, cappuccino. And strong, and we got these mini donuts as well. They're decent. Seven on ten. Ten on ten. And the reason I wanted to come to this place is because of their bakery. This is so popular. It was started in 1901. Can you imagine? Damn. So old. We're trying the famous cinnamon bun. It's nice, very nice, soft, full of cinnamon. Pretty good. It's too sweet for me. Look at these cute little houses. They're so colorful. I'm surprised this small town has a harbor as well. It must be really good during summer. And when you're in Thornbury, how can you not have cider? Because as I told you, this town is famous for their apples. This is cute. They have these domes as well. So cool. This place seems to be very popular and it's super busy right now. We have the ciders here from dry to sweet. Cheers. It's made with 100% fresh local apples. The mango, dragon fruit, and the blood orange, these are like all fruity and sweet. I like the premium craft more. Definitely recommend doing the cider tasting. This is so cool. They actually have a store if you want to buy apple cider bottles. So that's Thornbury for you. Just a small glimpse. It's actually a really tiny town. There's not much to do, but if you're close by this area, you can definitely give it a visit. Guys, the views are next level. There's a huge ass mountain range. It's the Blue Mountains. Yeah. They also have this huge North Face store. I was wanting to buy this jacket. I never used to get my size. But today is the day I got my size. And this is the classic, most popular North Face jacket. It's called the Nupsi. I love this one. Oh, there's Santa coming. Good that we came yesterday on a Friday. It's 
so crowded today. If possible, guys, come on a Friday and stay until Saturday. I don't know what's in front of us. It's a reindeer. This is actually the first time I've seen a reindeer. So cool. <laughs> Today I had plans to learn skiing. They actually have lessons here, but they're all sold out for the day. But the process is, I just asked them for next time. If you don't have your own equipment, you can rent it out for about 70 to 80 dollars something. And then the lessons are separate as well, about 40, 50, I guess. Don't quote me on the price. We still need to do one activity now that we are here at Blue Mountains. And we are going to get the tickets from here. Friends, it's going to be 101.70. So before you go and check out the next spot why don't you check out my brand new website which is now live and for that i would like to thank today's sponsor of the video none other than squarespace so if you're new around here squarespace is an amazing all-in-one platform that helps you to build your own website blog portfolio e-commerce store all in one space it's so easy to design your own website using the award-winning templates i have no coding experience or anything and i built everything on my own from scratch but if you still get stuck somewhere they have 24 7 customer support so if you're an entrepreneur creator or want to showcase your portfolio definitely give it a try just go around play with the features and when you're ready to launch go to squarespace.com slash peekaboo to get 10% of your first purchase of a website or domain trust me you won't be disappointed and definitely go check out my website but before you do that let's just finish the video now we're going on Ridge Runner which is actually a mountain coaster it's out of four only two people are going myself who's super duper excited and mom who is Extremely adventurous. She's getting scared now. <laughs> Enjoy. Bye. See you soon. How was it? It was a thrilling adventure. Was it fast? Yeah, it was super fast. You had to control your speed as well. Was it worth it? Yeah, 100%. The best part they have all this automated system here so you can get all the videos and photos for $14, $15 something. $17. And you can have it as a memory. So today the village had all the Christmas vibe. There were carols going on, there was Santa roaming in the horse carriage. It was so beautiful. But today it's so crowded. Like there's waiting literally everywhere. But glad we found a spot at Northlands Brewery. So we ordered a lot of food here. We've got the Korean fried chicken lettuce wraps, Shanghai noodle bowl, chicken sandwich, and something that goes very well with beer. Chicken wings, and these are buffalo chicken wings. It's attack now. Yeah. Guys, I ate the entire burger. It was so good. I ate so much. The portion size was huge, that we need to do a takeout. Just taking one last walk in the village. There's actually a trail with all the lights called gloomy. It looks so magical. We are leaving, but people are in their full spirit. They're dancing because the DJ comes around like at six o'clock. It was such a perfect, magical weekend getaway. I'm definitely coming here again, but next time I'm going to learn how to ski and then do it because otherwise the entire experience is not worth it, right? This time we explore the village, but next time we are going to go on the slope for sure. Final goodbyes to Blue Mountains. We had so much fun. Thank you Blue Mountains for giving us all the memories. Loved it. Good place. Loved it. Really enjoyed it. Yeah. And see you next time. 
and guys if you like this video and if this video gave you all the magical vibes don't forget to hit the like button and also please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next one bye